in Nashville last night after a 24 hour journey and not a lot of sleep. I had around an hour of sleep the whole time. Gabe got a little bit more than that, but I think it worked in our favor because we slept all night for the most part. Micaiah is still sleeping. I'm gonna try to wake her up soon, like maybe like start to open her curtains and stuff so she can wake up slowly. It's 20 past nine and I would like to keep her on somewhat a normal schedule. Gabe and I woke up at eight o'clock today and I'm surprised, like I'm really surprised. Anyway, today I we have a lot to do. I wanna show you a lot of changes that we're making in the house. Now that we're back, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. I just get to be in that like nesting season and we are changing a lot about the house. We've already worked on it quite a bit. So I'll show you what we've done and then kind of show you like what we're planning to do. We have a few more months until baby number two. I think I maybe went to sleep at like 9.30 last night, which is great. We got home and we were all so exhausted. I put her to bed got in the shower and then put myself to bed. And I was like, while I'm in this really sleepy state, I just need to get in bed because if you've ever experienced jet lag, if you miss that opportunity where you're sleepy, you will just get in bed and you will lay awake for hours and hours and hours. It's just good to be home. To be a good day, I just hope we can make it through the day and then like we've just crushed jet lag and then we can just sleep normally but we'll see how we go. Anyway, I'm gonna go start to open her windows, try to wake her up a little bit and then get on with the day because there's a lot I wanna do today, a lot I wanna show you. I thought I would show you, I feel like in my last few videos, I've talked about these Amazon leggings that I have been wearing and then I've like sized up Oh, I'm out of breath already, but I ordered the maternity ones. So these are meant to be like a Lululemon aligned dupe. I've been wearing them in a large, the like normal leggings because they're like, I have a bump, by the way, this is my bump. You can really see it in these leggings. It is getting big. Someone told me that they had maternity and I've been meaning to try them out. So I ordered them, opened them up this morning. This is their navy color. And then I also got this on Amazon is like a little zip up also in navy which is really cute this isn't maternity but these are but you can get navy in there just like regular not maternity too this is so comfy if you are pregnant and you're still wearing normal leggings like this feels so much more comfortable than the leggings that i was wearing so i will leave a link they're just on amazon this like really feels like i'm not wearing anything whereas the leggings like i can still feel them they they come up to like here the regular leggings on me and i can feel them on my tummy the high in Fahrenheit today, I think it's 65 or something. Just a really nice, perfect temperature. Like a little bit cool. So this is what I put on. Gabe and I are gonna start with some of the packages. I'll show you some of the stuff that we're doing to the house. So I think I've been kind of giving you updates with this room. It is nearly done. We have a new dresser coming maybe in three or four weeks. For the most part, this is done. We're really happy with it. This is a ruggable rug. We've never used a ruggable before, but we like it. Like we think it, you know, ties in really nicely. And then we have this little corner, which is still a work in progress. It's so beautiful and green outside. This was like one of our big goals was to finish our bedroom before the baby comes. So that is looking really good. This is also from Quince. I was getting so many Quince ads, which is like more affordable, but good, still good quality stuff. So that's where that is from. We're really happy with it. All right, this is another room that we have been trying to work on. It's still a work in progress, but I'll show you what we've done. So we're in our sunroom. It's definitely getting there, but we still have a lot to do. So we got this rug. This is from Boutique Rugs, I think. Hi, my, my, he was so excited. We aren't keeping any of these pillows, so you kind of need to ignore that. We wanted to bring a little bit more color into this room while still keeping it like, you know, matching like our beige couch and everything. So this, I don't know how well you can see it. It has like brown and then pink in it, which is really pretty. So I think we'll get cushions to kind of match these colors. These are being replaced. We might put these in our office, which we also need to show you, but I'll put them on the screen, the ones that are coming. I think they'll look really pretty down here and also tie into the rug. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Jet lag boy. Anyway, we have this big mirror in here, which is so beautiful and big and just like, oh, the light in here is just so pretty. Especially now that it's spring. I forgot how nice it was actually. The light is just so gorgeous. Anyway, so these should be coming soon. And then we still need to work on this area. Maybe put a lamp behind it. We need some, yeah. I don't should, know. This thing on that thing is not. The no, that was just from our basement. 
I'm gonna move that because it looks like ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, let us know what you guys think. I think we will put a nice plant there and then maybe a lamp back there. I don't know if I ever fully showed this in a vlog. I'm sure I have, but we got this beautiful, perfect, stunning, gorgeous. You know that Lady Gaga? It's stunning. Gabe has no idea what I'm talking about. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. We got this off Facebook Marketplace and it's like my dream of an old piano. It's imperfect, like it's, you know, broken in some parts, but when you're looking at it as a whole, you can't really tell. It's got history. You and, and me, me got a whole lot of Are we singing the same song? <laughs> anyway, I love this. I feel like you could not have put something more perfect in that area right there. It fills the space so beautifully. This is the area that we are still working on because it's a really big room. I think eventually I would really like a nice big round table here. One because we play lots of games and I feel like a round table is perfect for games. Don't you agree? I agree. I think it, it would fill the space better than this rectangle table, but we love this rectangle table. It expands, like it's a beautiful wood. We really, we don't really want to get rid of it, but at the also, same time- we spent a lot of money on it. I know, that's why we, we need to keep it. We're not buying a new table. <laughs> but maybe in like the next five years or something, maybe we'll have a round table here. Anyway, so we have got a rug. This is also from Ruggable. To kind of break up this space a little bit, we also wanna break up the wood, wood, and wood look. So I think it's brown. Oh yeah, there it is. This is very nice. It's quite dark. Sorry, that was loud. I hope we like it. Anyway, we'll see. The last thing I was gonna show was that we got this olive tree. This is an Amazon olive tree. Oh, olive tree. <laughs> I spend three weeks in Australia. He's an olive tree. <laughs> this is an olive tree. Olive tree off Amazon, and so is this pot. Is this stuff on Amazon too, Bob? Is this moss? Is that what it's called? Yeah, moss, and then I just took a bunch of newspaper or paper stuff and stuffed it around. I also put some bricks down there. To make to, it taller. To lift up the... Because this tree. is a very high room. Anyway, it looks so nice in here. We also have the exact same plant in another room. I'll show you later. But anyway, let's do the, this rug. finished product we're just saying we'll probably get a plant as the centerpiece for the table just to bring in like a bit more greenery but that looks really good it definitely does separate all the woods really nicely oh i'm out of breath though okay so this room is still officially a work in progress but it's getting there i definitely need a cup of tea i feel like it's only 12 o'clock now and i feel like jet lag has hit me my eyes feel like they're half open Ugh. anyway i'm gonna start unpacking stuff i did not want to unpack last night so so i've got all my makeup in here to unpack all my skincare that i need to like organize and put away liners guys not to be tmi but i am peeing my pants in pregnancy like pelvic floor and stuff like was totally good after makaya went back to normal and i was like this is thank goodness this is really good now i'm pregnant again yesterday i i sneezed while giving makaya a bath and i just the liner just didn't do anything i just had to change <laughs> how bizarre I don't know if I need to be doing more pelvic floor stuff while I'm pregnant and if that will help. I just feel like pregnancy, I don't know. <sighs> pregnancy is just making me pee my pants quite a bit. If you watched some of my pregnancy videos and I think like a Q and A, like a lot of my recent videos, I was, I've mentioned natural cycles like here and there, answering like a question or something. A lot of you guys were like, natural cycles is getting a lot of free promo. Well, they are back sponsoring a video. I am packing this away with all of my other stuff. It used to be beside my bed, but now I'm packing it away because I'm not actively using it, but natural cycles is probably one of the main things I get questions about, probably because I have been so open in the previous years about my birth control experience and what I was doing after going off the pill. I just had such a good experience going off the pill and trying natural cycles, just doing something completely different. Also my code, someone just asked me for my code again in Instagram DMs and it's still active. It is code Jess for 15% off an annual subscription plus a three, a free plus a three. Oh my gosh. 
plus a free thermometer. I'll leave the link and all the info down below, but that code is still active. If you haven't heard of Natural Cycles or you've missed me talking about it recently, it is a birth control app where it will analyze the data from hormone-driven changes in your temperature, which is why you take your temperature every day. And it will then tell you your daily fertility status. So it will either show green or red. A green day, if you are wanting to prevent pregnancy and like use it as birth control, a green day would be saying that you're not fertile and you're good to go. A red day would be, be careful, this you are fertile. But for me, as someone who was using it for pregnancy and to know my fertility window, it worked just the same, giving me green and red days. And it was really helpful for me. Yeah, I have used natural cycles both times now before both pregnancies. It is science backed. It is FDA cleared and you don't have to use a thermometer either if you have one of their integrated wearable devices. So that includes an Apple watch or an Aura ring. Every woman is obviously different. Different things are gonna work for different people, but I am really happy this has worked really well for me. Again, I'll leave all that information down below. Code Jess for 15% off an annual subscription and a three, three, oh my gosh, I did it again. A free thermometer. I'm gonna start unpacking. I need a cup of tea. I need some energy. <laughs> This is another room we've been working on. I don't know if I have fully filmed this. Hi, my, my. But it's almost done. So we got a new rug from Boutique Rugs. We got these chairs from Target and they're just like a really nice dark green. We have some pillows. Gabe's been sitting there, so it's like a little messy, but... And then this is the olive tree. The other olive... Can I talk? Jess, what's wrong with you? This is the other olive tree I was talking about. So it's the same one as downstairs, but we have a different pot. It looks really nice up here too. We are still figuring out what to put on this wall. Um, I'm thinking gallery wall. I do have new mixed tile frames, mixed tiles, that maybe could go there. We'll see. It looks really good. And then we usually have this on. There we go. That looks better. It's all looking cute. We got some lamps. The lamps definitely made it immediately cozy. Anyway, so this is another room that was like, this was the, really the first room that we worked on, I think. Thanks for your free feet content. Go hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, this is another room that we've slowly been working on, but now we're going to completely change it. So this is Makai's room. It's very cutesy. Got some wallpaper. The wallpaper's like textured. It's really, really pretty. Up there. We have this really sweet rug in here. This was in my office originally, and it is so just like plush and comfy. This one is also from Boutique Rugs. I knew that it would look so cute in here, and it's kinky, and it's got flowers all over it, and it does. I really like it in here. I feel like one of the last things we did in here was just put up these frames. That's Milo. That has her name on it, and that is like a little song that we sing to her at night. Those three were all made by friends of ours, and then this is a really sweet little duck art print and that made it look really cute like a really cute corner but we eventually are going to move her out of this room out of the rooms that we have this is the smallest one so we feel like it would work best as a nursery so we are going to move her out into a bigger bigger room and I'm really excited because we're, we're kind of planning out what we want both rooms to look like and her big girl room is gonna be really pretty so that is a big change we're going to be completely changing two rooms but we are gonna take our time with that because especially when the baby is born the baby will be sleeping with us for a few months so we have time to do all of these changes I'm excited to see her new room and excited to show you what changes we make in here. So one of the things that my parents had for Makaya in her little room that they had set up in Australia was like a chalkboard easel. So one side was a chalkboard, then the other side was a whiteboard, and then you could also pull down paper. And she used it every day. She loved the chalkboard. She just loved it so much. And so we were like, okay, we would really need, gotta get her one. And it was good timing because this is her toy room that we're in. And we never fully properly designed this room out. We really just like already had stuff from our last house and we put it in here. It is cute, but I want to make a lot of changes. One thing being this, this is like where a lot of her toys go. Sorry, this. 
I, now that we're back, I want to get back into rotating her toys a lot more. But I feel like this is too many to have out because then I, I try to rotate stuff. I mean, there's so much space here that like all the toys can fit in there. I would like to get something smaller. I'll put up on the screen what I'm thinking. And we have just kind of designed this properly. We want to get some wallpaper up here just on like the top half of the wall that I think will look really fun in like for a toy room. Yeah, we're just going to slowly redo this room too. But she already has a lot of great stuff so we don't need like a lot of new stuff I just want to get something new for her toys we got this too so we're gonna set it up I'm excited to see what she thinks I think she'll be really excited legs first he's rich oh, shit. Ow. it's so cute this is as some would say gorging you know what I did not get chalk I'm quickly gonna drive to the grocery store and just get a few like day-to-day -day essentials not too much but knowing me i'll probably walk in and just see so much stuff and i'm like we do need that because our fridge was like obviously pretty much empty when we came back because we were gone for so long anyway i'm gonna put on an audiobook i am i feel like i have been in a reading slump for over a month now basically since i got to australia and i'm trying to get out of it i have been listening to this book for so long it's the guest list i was finding it really slow now i'm at the end so like everything is coming together and it's more fast paced but oh my gosh I feel like the first 70% was slow so I'm just trying to finish it now so I'm going to put that on while I drive and go grab some groceries also I only ended up having to drive one time in Australia because my parents like I was always driving with someone Gabe always offers to drive whenever we go somewhere and so there was only one time I was by myself so fingers crossed this is still like mostly normal to me because I only drove on the other side of the road and the other side of the car one time we'll see how I go stay right stay right is all I need to remember It's two days later. It's Sunday night. It's 8 p.m. We have had such a full on day. We had a wedding today in our backyard. It was so special. We got home, put Micaiah down for the night and I just laid on the couch and apparently I fell asleep because I must have fell asleep for maybe like 10 or 20 minutes. I woke up, Gabe was on the couch finishing up a phone call and I was like, were you there the whole time? Like I didn't hear anyone speak. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, I was here the whole time. I need to keep myself awake a little bit. We have been pretty good with jet lag. I've been strict with setting an eight o'clock alarm every day. And then like maybe the next few days we'll inch closer to seven, but that's really good for how bad this jet lag can be. But this morning, I don't know if it was because of the wedding or because like pregnancy or whatever it was or just jet lag, but I fully woke up at 4.30 this morning and there was just no going back to sleep. So I ended up reading for a bit and getting out of bed at six o'clock. And then it was really nice to be honest. Like I love having a quiet house during sunrise. Is this, this isn't even straight, sorry. 
that's better. So I watched the sunrise, like did the dishes, curled my hair, like had a shower, made muffins, sat and had a cup of tea. Like it was, it was actually a really nice morning. And then I think the adrenaline of the wedding kept me going all day. But as soon as I got home and put Makai to bed, I lost it. So I just need to stay up for a little bit more. So I'm gonna open some packages behind me. This is all from us being away. And so I just need to, um, I don't know. I feel like I don't even have words right now. This is probably such a boring part of the vlog. The reason why I didn't finish my vlog was because I've wanted to show you our office. And yesterday I didn't get a chance. Today I obviously did not get a chance. So I'm gonna just insert a clip now of our office. So we are transforming our garage into an office space. We had an office space, I've kind of shared the story, but it got skunked so bad that like we had to move all our stuff out because all of our stuff smelt of skunk. Hopefully it's gone by now because we're about to move it all back into our garage, but it would just be such a nice place to film in, to edit in, just to like still be in the house, but like just be able to separate ourselves a little bit for work time. Anyway, it's a work in progress, but we're really excited. We've designed like a pretty cool gallery wall. We painted the walls green, this like really nice, like soft light green. We then designed like a gallery wall to go on it. And I don't know, I think we'll have like a little coffee, maybe like a Nespresso. Oh, thanks Milo. Like a little coffee bar down there. It'll just be really fun. I'm really excited. So I'll keep you updated on that. That's like our big project at the moment that is not quite done yet. Ooh, Barbie Smart Sweets. There's a lot happening. Even in here, have I sh even shown this room? Surely. So this is my reading room slash office. It's not fully decorated. Like this whole wall is blank. So I need to do something like I think a fun gallery wall. I found some cool prints on Etsy that are like about tea and books and stuff and I might make like a cute little gallery wall. Anyway, but because our office is going downstairs, I don't know if I'll even keep like we have just a little desk in here. I don't know if I'll take that downstairs or what I'll do, but this all needs to change as well a little bit. We're not in a rush. We have obviously a lot of plans, but we're just taking it one step at a time. The other thing that I was gonna mention was for anyone who is pregnant watching this, let me know if this has happened to you. I was waking up like day after day after day with a really bad like kink in my neck like really bad neck pain. And it started happening to me in Australia and I was like, maybe it's because it's not my bed, but like my parents' bed is super comfy. I've never had an issue with their bed before. And so I tried to swap a pillow and then I would be like fine for one day and then it would come back. Anyway, last night I got out our pregnancy pillow that I used with Makaya. Tried that last night and that was definitely the most comfy sleep I've had. So I'm hoping it's just that I needed a pregnancy pillow. And part of me was like, did I finally have such a good sleep that I just woke up at 4.30 because I was rested, finally. But it, that probably was not it. If you're pregnant or experienced that in pregnancy, let me know. I don't know, I was just trying to figure out if the like discomfort in my neck was from pregnancy because I was Googling and people were saying like, because you're starting to sleep a little different because you're more uncomfortable, it can like cause your neck pain. So, oh. This is our friend Janine's book. We've been on her podcast actually, and I'm excited to read this. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and open these packages because that will keep me awake probably till nine o'clock and then I can get in bed. I feel like that'll be a good time for me to go to sleep. I just don't wanna go to sleep too early and then just wake up at 4.30 again because that is gonna be terrible and I'm just not gonna be able to function properly. But thank you for hanging out with me and I'm so happy that we are back and like settling and I'm just excited to like keep doing what we're doing with the house stuff and start nesting and getting ready for the next baby. I just cannot believe I'm over halfway and it's just going to creep up so quickly. So this is a very exciting season. It'll be really fun. Love you guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.